Hey everyone, in this video we will talk about using multiple fi uh, filters with a calculate function in Power BI. So just before we start an overview of what calculate function is. So calculate function is one of the most popular DAX functions. It modifies the context in which a calculation is performed allowing you to apply custom filters. So it could be one or more filters. So we'll, uh, in this example we'll apply two filters and see how that plays out. And it is essential for performing dynamic and context aware calculations in the data models. Uh, moving on to the next, um, so how it typically ha works, uh, the, the syntax for the calculate function is you have an expression. So the first argument would obviously be calculate and then the aggregate function of your choice could be some average of count. And then you know you add the filters on there so um, just to filter out the values. So here is the syntax. So you've got the calculate function, you've got the uh, expression which is an aggregate function again like we discussed some for example and then you apply multiple filters. And the calculate function how it works is that it changes the context in which the expression is evaluated. It can add, remove or modify the filters applied to the data enabling more dynamic and specific calculations. So, um, so in this case we are talking about the multi filter example so I've got this. So we'll call this sales amount multi and you can see I'm using the calculate function. I'm doing a sum of the sales amount in product sales table and then I'm filtering out the values only for product where product categories books and the year is 2023. So let's I'll just bring the Power BI file here and we'll just quickly build that out. So you can see I've got the um, so um, I'll, I'll quickly get the data so from a text or CSV file, so I've uh, got it in a CSV file, so I'll point to that and I'll open it. So I'll just load it, I'm not going to do any transformations here. So you can see here that the product sales table is available to me and if I go to the data pane, I can see it shows me the product category, sales amount and the order date. So I'll quickly just add a new measure here uh, and I'll call it sales amount multi. Multi filter because we're going to put multiple filters and then I'm just going to as you know build the calculate function so like we discussed we'll start with calculate and then we'll use the aggregate function of our choice so I'm using sum and from and then I'm using the product sales table sales amount so I'm summing that up and then then I add the filters so I'll say where um, product category is equal to and year is equal to 2023 and I'll close the brackets out one for the year and again uh, sorry just for this and then I'll just hit enter and it's created the measure for us so I'm just going to bring it in um, and I just want a card so I'll just uh, uh, select that and it's and I'll, I'll just want to see the exact value so I'm just going to go to the call out value and change the display units to none so it's 2634.74 now let's see now let's quickly bring the, the data from this table so we've got order date and sales amount. So I brought the sales amount. I'm going to remove everything except the year. So let's just see this. And you can see for 2023, uh, it is 2634. But you can see there's books in the next year as well. So it's where it becomes 3488. But we've got the exact value. So let's say you just wanted to put a value here for books, or you just wanted a card to display this value, which is. Um, just a filter on 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 for books for 2023. So in this video, what we've essentially covered is how to put mul uh, uh, use multiple filters with the calculate function in Power BI. Um, and I hope you find this video useful. And thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Cheers. Bye.